name is David from Davasha Photography. Mm -hmm. And today I want to take you through just very basic things mm -hmm. about a DSLR camera. If you are just a startup, you are planning on buying one or you have already bought one, perhaps this would be of much help to you. I'll take you through a few things that you need to know as you get started. Uh, mostly we will refer to the entry level cameras, which most of the startups would, ha would tend to have and the semi-professional cameras and just see a few differences and appreciate. So um, obviously if you've bought an entry level camera, most likely you bought it with a kit lens. A kit lens is just the basic lens that comes with the camera. Mostly uh, you find for the Nikon is the 18 to 55 lens and sometimes you may find a bundle which comes with two lenses, perhaps 18 to 55 and 55 to 200. So in my case, I have this 18 to 55. So we'll open up the camera and then we will also open up the rear side of the lens and there is a white dot right here which then you match with the white dot here. Some different form of cameras will have a red dot and a red dot. You put that together press it in and rotate um, anti-clockwise until it clicks, okay? Now, if you're using a different uh, brand of a camera, perhaps you might find you may need to rotate clockwise and not anti-clockwise. But for the Nikons, all of them is you rotate it anti-clockwise to lock. If you need to remove your lens, there is a button on this side of the camera and you press that button, hold it down, then you rotate the opposite direction until again the white dots correspond and then you release the lens. Yeah. Something very important for you to note is that if you're using the kit lenses which have a plastic mount around this area, then it's very important for you to be careful because the plastic mount can easily uh, break uh, though most of these cameras are well built, but in case you drop it and it falls with the plastic side, it can break. Or maybe if you keep it in, in a place where there is too much pressure on this joint, perhaps the plastic place uh, can, can break. The second thing, obviously you won't find it with a ready battery inside, but the place where we put our battery is right at the bottom and I can remove my battery. So you'll have charged your battery with the battery charger that is provided and then you can insert it right in with the contacts facing the inner side of the camera and then you lock it in there, okay? So all that you're doing while your camera is off, you don't want to remove your lens and remove or put battery when the camera is on just to avoid short-circuiting your camera. The other most important thing as you get started is to put a memory card. Most of these um, Nikon cameras, at least at the entry level and the semi-professionals, they will come with a SD card um, slot. Some of them will have two, but this particular one, it's a D3100, quite an old model of a camera comes with only one slot. So it's important that you insert your memory card correctly uh, with, the, with the edge um, facing down, this edge that is, uh, is, is cut across like that, and the contacts facing down. So you insert and you press it in and it holds into place. If you want to remove it, you press it in again and release and it comes out again, yeah? Then you can pick it up, yeah? So once you insert your card, you lock the door for the card, for the card slot. And now you are almost there. The next thing is to open up your front element of the lens and then you're ready to go. And that is, is all that you need to do to prepare your camera to be able to shoot. So obviously switching on 
all the camera for Nikon, it's this button here. You slide it this way. Other models, it might be uh, slightly different, but it's all around here. And after switching on, I always recommend you start out with your auto. Okay? So start out with your auto. The auto is marked on this dial. And what auto means, it just means that the camera will take all the decisions for you and you will only do the composition. Composition meaning you will just decide uh, how to place your subject, where to place it, and how wide or how tight you should shoot. And it, it's a good place to start. I always find many people would buy a DSLR, they would keep it in the house uh, for a week. They have not even opened the box <laughs> because they are afraid something uh, might get destroyed. And when you start out on auto, at least it gets that kind of uh, fear from you. And you just take a few shots. You just take a few random shots and just see what kind of, of photos it will give you. And that is a good thing. That's a good place to start. So I will explain to you a few things on this dial and a few things about exposure. Okay. So to that extent, we already have a good um, startup understanding on how to set your camera as you begin, okay?